What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Got some cool stories, so let's get right into it. The first story comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which uh, is there for people to make sure that we don't get screwed over by the government. Well, a new story came out of Verizon saying that they were going to uh, automatically install an app called App Flash on all Android devices and it would track is basically a spyware and it would track what you downloaded and uh, serve ads onto your phone saying, hey, download this app. You might like this service. You know, you have this bank. Do this. You might like this bank better. They offer better whatever rates. Well, it looks like Verizon has responded to this with the following. Kelly Crumney, director of corporate communications of Verizon, said the following. As we said earlier this week, we are testing App Flash to make app discovery better for consumers. This test is on a single phone, the LG K20V. And you have to opt in to use the app, or you can easily disable the app. Nobody is required to use it. Verizon is committed to your privacy. Visit verizon.com slash about slash privacy to view our privacy policy. Now, this is a really popular story on Android Reddit, and uh, it, they were going crazy. People were really pissed off about this. And now that the news has come out about this, basically that it's a... Uh, hey, you might like this app. It's kind of similar to what people were freaking out about, but I don't think it's as bad. Uh, you know, people are, if they're going to offer you an app, you have App Flash on, say you have a Chrome browser, and they're like, hey, you know what? There's Dolphin browser or Firefox browser you might like better. And obviously, the companies are probably playing App Flash slash Verizon to say stuff like that, but overall, it's not that bad. As long as you can either disable it or remove it, I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, it kind of sucks because they're using Android phones just like they did with PCs even today where they put a ton of crap where stuff you'll never use and it bogs down the phone. I hate that because they don't do that with Apple computers or Apple phones and I wish companies like Samsung, LG and some of these other big uh, Android developers that make phones would say, hey, you know what? Don't put your crap on our phone. We don't want it. Or if, if the, obviously they're getting money from Verizon and AT&T and these other companies to put those apps on there. So, you know, I, I would even like to buy a fresh clean phone with any of that crap on there if worse comes to worse. Next up, if you're getting the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, be concerned because if you're, you're going to use that facial recognition feature, which is basically you holding the phone up to your face and it unlocks the device, it can be bypassed with a photo on your phone of that person uh, whose face is on that other phone. So in the video, the guy on YouTube, he basically is at the uh, Galaxy S8 event and he has a picture of himself on his phone. He holds that up to the Galaxy phone and the Galaxy phone unlocks. So it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, contained within having to be a real person at on the real phone at that moment. You can use a digital image of somebody to unlock that phone. So that's very scary because if someone steals your phone, have it be a family member or whoever, and you want to keep that out of their hands, all they can all they have to do is take a picture of you, hold it up, and it will unlock the phone. That's not very good. Hopefully. They, that Samsung's able to fix that before this comes out to the public on April 21st. But right now, it's definitely not 100% foolproof. Next up, there's a very, very cool Easter egg in Google Maps today. Open up your Google Maps and then look over to the right. You're going to see the little Pac-Man logo. Click on that and you can actually play Pac-Man on the map of wherever you are and uh, control Pac-Man just like the old original game, but you're playing on streets. It's very, very cool. Check it out. And my last story of the day is kind of an exclusive. I had one of my viewers reach out to me and uh, he gave me some exclusive photos of the T-Mobile variant of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Check it out. So the first photo you're going to see is boxes of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. They're giving you the original boxes, unlike AT&T. AT&T tends to give you an AT&T box with no Galaxy branding on it. And this is good. I love seeing that uh, T-Mobile is kind enough to give us the original Samsung Galaxy S8 box. You can see S8 and S8 Plus in the middle uh, written in like a purplish blue color. And then in the bottom left, it says 64 gigabytes. Next up, we have the Galaxy S8 variant of this phone from T-Mobile, and uh, I, I blocked out the middle part because that's where all the numbers, the IMEI numbers are for the phone, so I didn't want to get the person in trouble. And uh, you can see it looks exactly like 
the uh, any other version of this. I don't know if under that sticker there is T-Mobile branding, but it doesn't look like there is. Maybe there is, but otherwise, all through the phone, I don't see other T-Mobile branding. It says Galaxy S8 at the bottom, Samsung at the top, and then you can see uh, the fingerprint sensor, the camera, and the flash and the uh, heart rate sensor as well. Next up, we have the Galaxy S8 Plus. It's the Orchid Gray version, and, and you can tell this one changes color like a madman. It looks dark enough to maybe be like almost like a black at certain times, and then you can see it being gray, and then you can see the purplish into it, so it looks like a total chameleon. I love the color. The color looks so delicious. Uh, again, the middle part is blocked out because of the IMEI number, but uh, again, and I also don't see any T-Mobile branding on this. It could be under the sticker, but I kind of don't think it would be. Um, it looks so good. This phone, the purple especially, looks so nice. And here's the front of the Galaxy S8. Nothing really to see, no branding or anything like that. Uh, just a cool looking Galaxy S8. Now the coolest thing about that is I don't see any branding. Now of course, like I said, it could be under the sticker, but uh, if it's not, then that's really, really cool because it's like an Apple phone at that point. Apple does not have any branding on the front or the back of their phones from the carrier that it's being sold from. Just looks like an iPhone, an Apple phone. That's it. And I hope Samsung is finally going that route here in America. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do a new video every single day. My question of the day is, what do you think about carrier branding? Do you not care about it? Do you like it? I don't know why you would like it. Or you don't really care. I mean, just let me know in the comments down below how you feel about carrier branding on cell phones. My product of the day is listed in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for always watching, guys, and the support. I will see you down the road. Peace! Guys, if you want to check out yesterday's news video, check it up at the top here on the right. Below that is today's video if you want to find a good Samsung deal on the Galaxy S8 Site Plus. And if you want to subscribe, click my head and then hit subscribe. I will see you down the road. I said it twice today. Why not?